public space is a wonderful thing. In an increasingly privatized world, it provides an area where a community can come together and interact, growing and sharing ideas not as individuals, but rather as a group of people. Unfortunately, there are some spaces that go unnoticed and unused by the public. As students in new media and community practice at Kansas State University, our goal was to activate one of these unused places by engaging the people of Manhattan within that space. Max Beyer designed and dedicated the Beyer Memorial Geology Plaza to his parents Henry and Wilma, who were 1916 graduates of Kansas State University. As students, both were heavily involved with extracurricular activities. Wilma served as student body president and competed on the debate team. Henry played varsity football and was the president of the YMCA. He said, I haven't been over there for a long time, but I, when I have gone over there, it's kind of fun just to sit there and think about it. Listening to Max talk about his parents was really inspirational. He has fond memories of both Henry and Wilma. It shows in the energy and time he spent to build a memorial in their honor. The problem with memories is that they're not tangible, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of good ones out there, and we believe that they're worth sharing. We created the Art of Memories to encourage people to share their memories with each other by recreating past experiences on memory cards, which in turn created a large socially engaged artwork on display in Bayer Memorial Plaza. This is probably one of the most fulfilling projects I've ever done in my entire life. Just to see everyone's memories come together and the reactions and positive energy we got from everyone throughout the entire project was astonishing and you know, amazing to actually be a part of. Basically what this project was for me was um, just the getting the getting everyone else's memories and being able to bring them to a place where memories are supposed to supposed to live. Um, this is a memorial plaza where memories of Wilma Burtis and uh, Henry Byer um, are meant to meant to be had. And I think that we really livened the space up and brought Having a memory project! <laughs> Our project was about engaging a space on campus that didn't previously get used. Um, so we picked this place, it's a memorial plaza, and we kind of researched the couple that it was in memorial of, Wilma and Henry Beyer. And we kind of found out about how involved they were and how many great things that they did at K-State. They're in every club you could be in. She was student body president and he was on the football team. And we kind of spent a lot of time really looking through the yearbooks and researching them and found out that they had all these great memories of their time here. I think sometimes as college students, we really get caught up in the now and we forget to reflect on the past. And so for me, one of the coolest aspects of this project has been that opportunity for us as students, as K-Staters, as Manhattan community members to step back and think about some of our fondest memories throughout our entire lives. Memories are traditionally very personal to us and they carry a lot of significance for each of us individually, but there are a lot of unifying themes. It's interesting to see how one person's memory about love or a relationship Again, it's very specific, but it can spark a memory for another 